I could tell that Jacob was struggling. It showed in his face and in his body language. He had started our weekly conversation in English, carefully searching for the words, telling me about his parents and his youth. Suddenly, he spoke in Yiddish, his native language, but one which I don't understand. I could see that he was unaware of the change, so I said, wait, Jacob, you're speaking Yiddish. Please try again. But Jacob couldn't. Jacob has aphasia, the result of a stroke. The aphasia had once again hidden away the English he'd learned after immigrating to Canada some 40 years ago. And now, with his ability to communicate impaired, he had become isolated from his English-speaking friends and family. So we carried on in Yiddish, Jacob describing his long, hard journey, at times steps ahead of the Nazis. Me trying to follow him, using every conversation tool at my disposal, including much guesswork. Well, we laughed at my failed guesses and celebrated each success. Four years ago, I was tired. I had worked hard for many years. I was approaching retirement. Well, I prefer the word redirection with no thought of the end of a journey or leisure activities or leisure suits. I knew that my career alone did not define who I was, but I was sort of lost as to what to do next. So I started Googling volunteer opportunities. Volunteering had always been an important part of my life, in choirs, church committees, and amateur musical theater. But there were so many opportunities, which one would be the right fit? Weeks later, nothing still felt quite right. Then a friend recommended the Aphasia Institute in Toronto. From the initial interview with staff to my first nervous solo conversation, I felt challenged and useful. I knew that I had found my place. Back in Jacob's dining room, our conversation time is over, and I'm gathering my supplies. I am drained, yet at the same time unbelievably energized. You see, today, Jacob blew me away. As we struggled with our conversation in Yiddish, he suddenly said, very clearly in English, I am more than this. Yes, Jacob, we are.